great believer in doing tricks with everyday articles. Here's one with a thimble. Every household has a thimble. Now you take the symbol on the first finger, put it over here in your other hand, take it off, give it a squeeze, it goes up your sleeve, across your chest, down the sleeve, and back on your finger again. Sensational, isn't it? I'll do it again. You take the thimble, take it off, give it a squeeze, it goes up your sleeve, across your chest, down the sleeve, and back on your finger. I'll show you. When you get a little more proficient at this and you practice, you get to the state of what we call the wiggle. And that means you take the thimble off this finger onto that one, Put your hands like that, you give it a little wiggle, and it pops across the there, you sort of wiggle it back again. Now, a lot of people think I use two thimbles for that. As a matter of fact, I use four. Oh, <laughs> good heavens above. Let's put them away. Now, some years ago, I used to go to variety theatres, and I saw a marvellous chap in variety years ago. He took this little silver box, and he showed this box all the way round, and he shook it open, he wriggled his fingers through, and he closed it up, and he blew on it. And when he reached inside, he took out a little silk handkerchief, and everybody in the entire audience went, ooh, with amazement. Well, they did when he did it. So I thought that'd be an idea to do today. So I'm backstage and I banged on his dressing room door and I said, excuse me, that trick with the silver box, the one where you show it all the way around, you shake it open, wriggle your fingers through, you close it up, you blow on it. You reach inside, you take out a silk handkerchief and everybody in the entire audience goes, oh, with amazement. And he said he didn't have the trick, but the bloke up in Iceland got it. So I went all the way out to Iceland, leaned with my bicycle against a pyramid, and I said to this bloke, this trick with the box, the one where you show it all the way around, shake it open, wiggle your fingers through, close it up. You reach inside, you take out a little blue handkerchief, and everybody in the entire audience goes, oh, that's a, with amazement. Now, he said the trick would cost me 25p. And I thought 25p was a lot of money to pay for a trick, even if you could take a silver box and show it all the way around, and shake it open, wiggle your fingers through, and close it up. Even if you did reach inside and take out a silk handkerchief, even if everybody in the entire audience did go, I don't think you're paying attention. Anyway, I bought it. So for the first time anywhere, I will show this trick to you. It's done with a silver box. You show the box all the way around, you shake it open, wriggle your fingers through, you close it up, you blow on it, you reach inside, and you take out of it. You take out, you take. 25p, I was robbed. God bless my soul. That'll never work. Well, speaking of variety theatres, those really were the days. And a hundred years ago, every town had variety theatres, and often magicians topped the bills. Gonna turn the clock back about a hundred years and do a trick. A hundred years old. Now, in those days, every conjurer had a beautiful assistant with him, and this afternoon, I've got the lovely Nikki. Hello, Nikki. Hello. And um, it's splendid. Now, all the, all the conjurers did a trick uh, with a tin tube. I know they didn't call it a tin tube, of course. They call it the mysterious cylinder of the Ganges. Tin tube. Here's a tin tube. If you're a Londoner, that's the original tube that it was quicker by. <laughs> she laughed. Lovely. He would show it to his assistant and say, can you see me through the tube? And she would say, yes, I can. Yes. <laughs> They show it to the audience and say, can you see my hand? And as one, they would all shout, yes. Did you hear them? Mm -hmm. Good. You would then take a sheet of tissue paper, put it over the top, and a tin ring on top of that. That's making a drum. And they do the same with the other end. Lovely. Super. Now, that would make a drum at both ends. The result of that was that nothing could now be introduced into that tube without breaking the tissue paper. And the audience might notice. He took a light because they didn't believe him and he'd shine the light through the tube and say to his assistant, can you see the light through the tube? And she would say, yes, I can. Then he'd give the light to the assistant and she'd hold it and he'd say to the audience, can you see the light from the tube? And as one, they would all shout, we can see the light. Hallelujah, brothers. Splendid. And that's when the movement actually came and he did a great big drum roll, slapped the top of the thing and he took out a beautiful, a beautiful silk handkerchief. They always had these marvellous scarves, Nick. There's one like that. And if you wonder why you couldn't see that, that was in the way. There you are. And that is magic. <laughs>